beast of the mountain guys this is the real this is the real um speculation right here animals of the mountain are uniquely primed to survive under the coldest weather conditions so we'll see some free old probably mix and matched thick layers of fat and woolly furs to insulate them from the bitter winds and snows cloven hooves provide support on steep slopes and narrow footholds while hooked claws easily latch onto ice yeah expect some of these um huge beasts to come in the expansion as well 100 percent oh wait no 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 he's here nocturne hanging around in fossbarrow yeah yeah so nocturne is from damasia what maybe shivan is not coming if people are thinking that Nocturne's coming, then he has to be the... Yeah, so it's either Nocturne or Shivana, not both. <laughs> yeah, everyone's seen this, right? Like, what is there to really talk about? We can speculate what champions are going to be releasing. Yeah, so at the very start upon release, not every region is going to get a champion. Super exciting stuff there, right? Whoa, Tenku has six Targon champions and one Bilgewater. That's a pretty interesting way of speculating it. Yeah, for sure. Tenkua, would I be crazy to say that I think there's only going to be like three Targon champions? Would that be crazy? Because I, I, I'm pretty sure they want to be releasing a Targon champion with each of the next expansions, yeah? Do you know what I mean? Like upon each expansion, there should be at least one Targon champion. So this one is maximum five. But I think when I think about the number five, I think maybe four and then three champions from other regions. And then one and two, and then one and two. So there is less Bilgewater champions. I think up in August, there will be three Targon champions, the one Bilgewater champion, Tenkua speculates, and then three from each region, and then two and two. I'll put my money on that, dude. I will put my money on that. When they start releasing their champions from each of the other regions, they, they won't have its preset. They will decide on which region is kind of like missing opportunities or being played less. So it's kind of a smart strategic way to make sure they balance out all the regions without intentionally balancing them out. Like on the initial release, they'll release the champions and then coming into expansion 2, they'll be like, alright, no one's playing Ionia, let's put the Ionia in. And then going into the next expansion, they'll be like, alright, nobody's touching Freehold, let's do that. Do you have the League Champs image I sent before? Are people are people are people actually convinced that Tom Kench is going to be the Bilge Water Champion? I, I was like, I thought it'd be Graves. I'll just put my money. I'm going to put my money right now, live here with you guys. Three Targon Champions in the first release, one Bilge Water, and then three like a separate three of each others, and then one and two, one and two. I'm 100% convinced that upon each expansion, like each uh, collection, there'll be one Targon champion at minimum. So whether I'm wrong about the first number or not, we'll see. But there should be at least three Targon champions coming in the first cycle. Which also makes me wonder, how many champions are there roughly at the moment per region? You'll pull my money on six Targon, one Bilge? Alright. Does anyone know what time the teaser starts tomorrow? Well, if it actually starts... It should be in 12 hours from now. Less. It should be in 11 hours and 17 minutes. This is the expected leaks, is it? This is the predictions. Okay. Unfortunately, no no fiddlesticks or bard. What do you think? I, I think that Tom Kench is a high possibility for sure. I'm not sure where we're getting information on these guys. There was reasons for this information though. I remember there was like some sort of like files in game or something. I know Zoe is going to be 100%. Tarek is probably going to be 100%. These are not leaked arts. Yeah, they're from League of Legends. I know these arts left, right and center. Like I know, I know like League in a nutshell. I can tell you exactly. Maybe if you put skins on them too, I could tell you. Um, I think in the YouTube video, I think in the YouTube video, because they're obviously not bringing out, they're not bringing out every single region, but there's more regions in the uh, League of Legends lore than what's going to be in lore. A lot of the stuff's getting mixed and matched, like Piltover and Zorn is being mixed and matched. So I want to also mention that Targon, in reference to mixed and match, 
is probably going to feature some of uh, Rune, uh, Rune Terra champions. And I think Bard is coming. I think Bard is coming, guys. In the YouTube video, Bard was um, mentioned in the, in the stars. And it makes a lot of sense. The, th the theme of this is screaming like, where's Bard? If Bard's coming to the game, I'm going to make sure he's tier 1, guys. If Bard is coming, I'm making him tier 1. Don't sweat it. Somebody saw him, I swear. Like, somebody pointed out exactly what Bard looked like in this. However, in a given expansion, some regions will have more cards than others, including champions. By the time the third expansion is released, the set is complete. All regions, yeah, 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 I've seen that. So all these um, patterns are supposed to be champions, right? I think I saw the, the image on Reddit. I saw the image on Reddit, guys. I think Bard's coming and it's going to go low key. Because like... I think they, they expect all the players to think that they know which champions are coming. But there's always a curveball. This. This image. Because Bard works with the stars as well, guys. Bard is like... He's a Rune Terror champion, but he dives into the... He's like the perfect champion to like connect Rune Terra to like Targon. I think Bard's coming and I can't fucking wait. But I don't know if he'll come in the first cycle. He'll be a curveball for sure. I mean, they did update his lore. Ah. I'll tell you that I think Bard's coming and he's going to be in the Targon region. Which probably means that either Soraka or Diana is not coming. And out of these two, I think it might make sense for Diana to be the champion that is actually not coming out. You guys heard it here first. I don't think Diana is coming. I think Shivana is coming for sure. I think Tom Kench is a high possibility. I think Lulu, I'm not sure where the hell we got this from. So I don't know really what to say about that. I don't know who else could be speculated. I think Riven is a high possibility. I think Trundle is a high possibility. I think Victor is um, a curveball and Nocturne's a curveball as well. I think Aurelian Soul is almost 100%. Zoe is almost 100%. Leona feels like it's 100%. But this is because like everyone in the community is speculating that Leona is coming. Wait, that would also mean there's one more Bilge War champion. There's a chance that we might get two Bilge Warrior Champions. If we get two Bilge Warrior Champions, 110%, it's Tom Kench and Graves. 110%. They've already featured Graves in a uh, teaser trailer. I mean, during the cinematic, Bard was at Ionia. So Bard could be here then. Bard could be an Ionian Champion. He's Yeah, he was, he was updated on the 22nd of July. Related Champions, Aurelian Soul, guys. A Traveler from Beyond the Stars, guys. A traveler from beyond the stars. Bard is coming. I can't fucking wait. He's legit my favorite champion. I would get him tattooed on me. He is from the region of Rune Terror though. So they could slot him into anywhere but Targon. Yeah, um, I think I I think I'm gonna agree with binary. Bard Lulu's not coming. Bard for Ionia. Although that's kind of a curveball, but he would not fit into Noxus, nor would he fit into Demacia. Nor PNZ. Ionia makes a lot of sense and um would not be Shadow Isles or Free Old. Or PNZ. Yeah, yeah. It's a hundred percent Bard is in Ionia. That's gotta be it. Cause he's not exactly a Targon champion, but he could be put in there. He could slot into Targon or Ionia. If Lulu's not the champion. It's 100% Bard. Which also makes me think that, yeah, 100% Aurelian Soul is coming. If we look at what champions are related to Aurelian Soul. It could also mean that these champions are coming too. Okay. So having a look at this. Having a look. <laughs> Fakey, Ionia main next patch. If Bard is a build around champion, I will be an Ionia main. Bard is like... That's so cool to actually be excited about a champion coming to Rune Terra. Strictly based on lore. That's really cool. Okay, so having a look at this, we can actually assume that Diana 
Leona and Soraka are coming. So here's my here's my curveball, guys. Tarek's not coming to the game. Tarek's not coming to the game, guys. That's the curveball. And people are talking about being hyped for Tarek. But he's not coming. And people will speculate about him coming for the following two expansions afterwards, but he'll never show. Now, let's just to clarify, let's have a look at Soraka's related champions. How about this, guys? P and Z for Warwick. And where's Syndra from? Ionia. We could even see Syndra. If we're looking at related champions only, you never know who might pop up. Let's have a look at Leona, who she related to. I guess Tarek is there. Now, just look at Diana. Diana is related to Zoe and Tarek. So yeah, one of these champions is not coming. It could be Tarek. Hi, Fakey. What's up, Defiance? What's good, homie? I don't think Lulu is coming though. Like, if we just look at Lulu's law, let's have a look. Yeah, I, I really, I don't think Lulu is coming, guys. I don't know why someone thinks that. How about Sona? There's no speculation to even assume that Sona is coming. Riven's a high possibility though. I mean, when you look at Noxus champions. Yeah, when we look at the Noxus champions, like, it almost feels obvious that it's going to be Riven. It almost feels 100% guaranteed it's Riven. I don't know if they're going to bring out Kled yet or Cassiopeia or Talon. That's literally it, Sion. Riven's an extremely popular champion as well. So they might prioritize that a little bit. Lore. How did we end up on Nocturne lore? Like, how do we think Nocturne's the one coming? But maybe Sona could be a card instead of a champion. I don't know if they'll do that yet. That's something that could happen in like two to five years, but not yet. I think all the champions are going to be champions. So we're assuming, we're assuming Nocturne, are we? Related to Tarm Kench in some way. Nocturne is Demacia? No way. There's no way Nocturne could be a Demacian champion. Right, ladies and gentlemen, there is a new region. Yeah, that was the biggest blue balls moment, wasn't it? Hey guys, we've got a new expansion coming out. Thanks. <laughs> in case you didn't know, guys, oh, in case you didn't know, everyone in the Runeterra community from Riot, we're bringing out a new expansion. Get hyped. See you later. <laughs> He lives near Demacia? Okay. So then that would mean that Shivana's not coming. But there's lots of reasons to believe Shivana's coming. Because of, um... Somebody pulled up something about it. Or was it just more speculation? Maybe Shivana's just spe speculation as well, guys. <sighs> Look at that biography, guys. Holy shit. If Aurelian Soul is coming, Shivana is coming. Okay. We could put those two together because I'm pretty sure Shivana is from Demacia. And if Shivana is coming, how did I end up here, by the way? I want to be on like too much speculation, guys. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, there is actually. I have no idea how to look at stars, either do I, man. Explore Rune's Error. Holy shit. Sorry, guys. What the so let's quickly go over to Demacia. I'm pretty sure Shivana is from Demacia. Yeah, Shivana's from Demacia. So if Shivana's coming, she's strictly going to be a Demacian champion. Now look at the Demacia for Nox. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I don't see her here. Nocturne is not on this area. I'm pretty sure um, Nocturne hangs around. I'm going to say he's even in Shadow Isles. No. Oh, wait, no, 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 he's here. Shit, Nocturne hanging around in Fossbarrow. Yeah, yeah, so Nocturne is from Damasia. What? 
Maybe Siobhan is not coming. If people are thinking that Nocturne's coming, then he has to be the... Yeah, so it's either Nocturne or Shivana, not both. I'm wondering if Twitch, League Champion, not Platform. Oh, you mean Twitch? He's from PNC, I'm pretty sure, right? Oh, he's a Zorn. He's a Zorn, 100%. If Twitch is coming, that means Victor's not coming. Twitch is a possibility. But if people are speculating Victor, then it can't be both. If people expect, if, yeah, if people are, if people think Twitch might be coming, that means Victor's not coming. Because uh, Victor is specifically from Zorn. Unless they want to mix them. No, they can't mix and match. It can't be both. And then Bilgewater. It's either Tom Kench or Graves. Unless they bring out two for Bilgewater, then it's both. I don't know if they will bring out two for Bilgewater though, but it could be a possibility. Mount Targon. I can't click on any of these, can I? Only this. Uh, we can see some of the artwork from Targon stuff, which could become cards. Lots of interesting creatures. Expect some of these to become um, cards in game for sure. Call the mountains, call the mountains, big beasts. Yeah, I can, I can expect that. Like huge beasts. Like we're going to start getting some more 10 mana cards for sure. Like actual late game bombs that aren't champions. That would be really cool. Like look at these guys, man. Not, people, not many people will be looking at these, no. I think we're going to get a Bowler in game. We're going to get an Urbok. We're going to get Tamus. We're going to get Ibix, whatever that is. And Beast of the Mountain, dude. Yeah, TDV showstopper. Dropping out that dabs, dude. Boom. Beast of the Mountain, guys. This is the real, this is the real, um, speculation right here. Animals of the Mountain are uniquely primed to survive under the coldest weather conditions. So we'll see some free old, probably, mix and matched. Thick layers of fat and woolly furs to insulate them from the bitter winds and snows. Cloven hooves provide support on steep slopes and narrow footholds, while hooked claws easily latch onto ice. Yo! What's up, dude? Like this, like this, this ebook guy is gonna cost at least eight mana above. 100%. Has to be it. I would not lie. 